Hey guys, so welcome back to my YouTube. A lot has happened. I wanted to get on here to make a video on helping people out if you get locked out of your Instagram account. So I decided to do this video because I know that this is becoming more and more common nowadays that people are getting locked out of their accounts and hackers are hacking into accounts and all that stuff so somebody hacked into my account about a couple weeks ago and i didn't know what to do there's not a very easy way to figure out how to get your your account back uh instagram doesn't really make it that easy they don't ha even have a customer service phone number so i kind of had to do my own research and that i figured out how to get my account back so basically what happened was that I always, I'm always logged into my account. I never log out. I'm pretty sure a lot of people do that. They just click on their Instagram and it's logged in already. And that's what had happened to mine. So one day I clicked on Instagram and Instagram didn't open. It just like literally locked me out. It was like locked. I kind of looked on the customer service on the Instagram and it hasn't like, it's really hard to find the phone number for Instagram. They don't have a phone number actually. So basically I had to do my own research. And in that I found out that you have to extra secure your account because people, hackers, they know how to like get in there and, you know, block you out of your own account. So that's kind of what happened with my account instagram said to log back in so it had my username and it asked for my password mm -hmm. and so i entered my password and it it still popped up with like me having to put a, a two-factor authentication which some of you might know what this is and some of you might not but basically on your instagram i'm gonna show a little clip where you can put this on your instagram because this will extra secure your Instagram account if you haven't already because if you do this you will probably not get hacked again or ever <laughs> if you're watching this video you probably got hacked but if you're just watching it just to you know know about it then you should probably do this okay so when you're on your main page you want to go to settings and then after that you want to click on security and then you want to click on the two-factor authentication one and then you go to additional methods and it'll take you to where you can click on backup codes and it'll give you a code that can let you log in if you get locked out so now that you know how to secure your account if you haven't already like extra secure it whoever's watching this video is probably watching it because they're trying to get into their account and I'm here to help because that happened to me and I don't like I don't want nobody else to go through it because it sucks. I was like, I was literally going to give up on Instagram. I was like, if I can't go back into my account, I'm literally not going to have an Instagram anymore because I'm not about to go and make another one and request everybody that I have and all that. No. So I'm glad I got it back. So basically, I was logged into my other accounts. This is our business account, and I logged into my second account, the, the one that I was locked out of, and I pushed continue as Patricia Yamin Ola, which is my name. So on this part where I tried to log in to my, the account that I was locked out of, obviously it asked me for my password, but the person that hacked my account changed my password and changed my email. So it popped up with this email that the hacker changed it to because it was not my email so at this point where the hacker had changed my email i was like well i'm done there's no other way because they changed my email but there is there's always a way so i sent the code to the email obviously the first time but the second time i tried another way and i didn't screen record it but basically you push something like try another way and then when it tells you to try another way it acts for the eight factor or six factor authentication code 
the one that I mentioned earlier on how to secure your account. So this authentication code thing was turned on by the hacker. So that's what they do. They turn on the, the two-factor authentication and they get the code to lock you out or whatever. So I had to push the get help button. There's like a help button when, when it comes to the two-factor authentication. And then it says like email for support or something. And that's where you send them emails until they respond. You basically got to keep emailing them and emailing them. I literally did this so many times throughout the day until they answered. You basically have to do this over and over again. When you click on it, it has a little box that you can put your email for where they can reach you out and, and a little box to put your username and a little description of what happened. I basically just wrote out what I kept sending and copied it to my notes and then I just copied and pasted it until they responded. Like I copied and pasted it into that like message email thing and I kept sending the message over and over until they finally sent me a Facebook message. So this is what the first email from Facebook looked like when I messaged Instagram. And so when they finally sent me the Facebook message that I got that you saw on the previous slide, I literally was like, yes, they're finally answering. So after you follow the prompts on the first email that you get, from Facebook, you're gonna get a second email and the second email is gonna ask you to verify your identity by taking a picture of yourself and some numbers that they sent you, like a code that they sent you on written on the paper with your username on there. So this is what the second email from Facebook looks like. They're basically just asking me to send them the picture with the code. I probably sent that picture with the numbers on it and you have to do it like in good lighting so make sure it's you and all you have to now this this all of this doesn't apply to like if you're trying to get to an account of your like your dog or your somebody else that's not you because i know that some of you have accounts that are not you this only it would apply if like in your account you have pictures of you because that's the only way they're able to verify you so basically i had to take a picture with the code and like stand in good light I literally did it right here. I literally just put it up and took a picture. It's like a, literally like a mug shot. So I emailed it like three times after I emailed it three times. So once you send them this email with the picture of yourself and the code, they're gonna send you another email that says, thank you for verifying your identity. And they give you steps of what to do and they give you a recovery code. And that's where you're able to go back in your account and extra secure it with what I said in the beginning, the two-factor authentication. You really, if you have not done this two-factor authentication to your Instagram account, I really recommend you do that because that will extra secure your account and you don't want to get hacked right now. Especially because, you know, nowadays everybody uses their account for you know purchasing things i was i luckily only purchased one thing one or two things from straight from the instagram account and somehow they got my paypal through that and they purchased or they attempted to purchase something for themselves but they had purchased something that was already actually on my cart so thankfully they weren't able to successfully purchase anything for them because I, once I n realized that they hacked it, I like extra deleted every, I, I deleted all my cards from all my accounts and, you know, extra secured them by changing the passwords and everything. But they somehow were able to order something that I had already had on a cart through Instagram. So it's like, not a big deal. I still have that item, it's still here. I have to call them and tell them that it needs to be returned because it's not something I or ordered myself. But yeah, if you purchase stuff through Instagram, they can go through, get your PayPal and get, you know, if you have ordered stuff through there, somehow they get your card numbers, like if you have it saved there. But it's just good to have it extra secure. So make sure you do the two-factor authentication on your Instagram so you won't get locked out and you won't have to deal with two weeks of trying to get it was like a week or like a week and a half of 
me trying to get my account back where I finally got it back. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know about that. And also I still have a big announcement coming and I'm super excited for you guys to know about this. So for those of you who are following me on my Instagram, the news is coming slowly but surely i'm just waiting on a few more details to confirm the announcement but definitely excited something different that i've never done before and yeah can't wait for you guys to know about it if you don't follow me on my instagram you can follow me here's my instagram and thank you guys and if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe